If only we were all quite as lucky as actress Susan Lucci, who at 74 still looks as good as she did when she was 50. What's her secret? Has she discovered the whereabouts of the Fountain of Youth? Well, maybe nothing quite that dramatic, but this former All My Children star attributes her youthful veneer to her calculated daily diet plan and rigorous workout routine. But staying young isn't just about physical fitness. It's also about staying relevant with the changing times. Simply put, the key to defying the effects of aging just might be keeping your mind young and embracing the ever-evolving advancements of culture and technology. Instagram gave her career a second wind. Like many other stars getting up there in years, Susan initially struggled to grasp the importance of social media. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter might be some of the most influential platforms of our time, but older folks have historically been slow to adopt these services. Meanwhile, the younger crowd has grown up with like buttons, emojis, hashtags, and photo filters. It's an obvious cultural divide, but some savvy seniors have mustered up the courage to take the plunge into the modern digital world. Lucci was initially apprehensive to hop aboard the social media train because of privacy concerns. She's never been one to air out her dirty laundry. She's been a very reserved person, so at first she thought social media wasn't for her. That was until two years ago, when she was vacationing in St. Bart's. She must have been feeling pretty confident that day, because after throwing caution to the wind, she slipped on a teeny tiny black bikini and asked her husband to snap a few photos. A friend of hers then insisted she post the shots on Instagram, which she reluctantly did. The internet proceeded to lose their minds as the pics went viral. And once the media got their hands on the photos, suddenly all the headlines were featuring her name as well. The reaction wasn't exactly what Lucci had expected, but it was flattering. After the photos came out and subsequently spread, it occurred to her that Instagram just might be a good way to stay in touch with all her fans. Shortly after making that realization, Lucci began to realize how social media and the mainstream media are intertwined. After spending several days vacationing in Barbados with her husband, Helmut Huber, Lucci began to notice that the paparazzi were following her around with telephoto lenses, hoping to snap a few shots worth publishing. It was obvious they were familiar with her recent Instagram posts that were making waves across the internet. A few days into her trip, a friend from England gave her a call and asked if she'd seen the photos of herself published by TMZ. Instead of being upset with the paparazzi for violating her privacy, she was actually pretty flattered. The pictures looked too good for her to be upset. By the fourth day of her trip, she was even half looking for the photographers because she wanted to thank them for capturing her good side. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and be sure to subscribe to Facts First for more and stick around for a lot more about what Susan Lucci went through in 2018. Back in the spotlight. A lot of women Susan's age complain about feeling invisible, but she is anything but that. These days, she has 157 Instagram followers following her every move. She's published nearly 2,000 posts ranging from Pilates tips to low-carb diet recipes. She's also created for herself a booming fitness empire, promoting products like the Pilates Pro Chair and even her own successful line of activewear, which is available through QVC and HSN. Looking to branch out and try her hand at producing, she's recently even struck a development deal with Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. It's pretty clear she has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. She says she feels better now than she did in her 20s and 30s. When asked what her secret to retaining her youthful glow is, Lucci thanks Pilates for much of it. She's been practicing the physical fitness system for more than two decades. Pilates has completely reshaped her body in all the right ways, but it also encouraged her to give her diet a much needed overhaul as well. Once she started doing Pilates, she said she lost all desire to consume things like cheeseburgers and french fries. As you might have guessed by looking at her fit beach bod, Lucci is just as committed to maintaining a healthy diet as she is about keeping up with her workout routine. She hardly ever eats dessert, never snacks, and avoids carb-heavy foods like bread and pasta as much as possible. A typical lunch normally consists of something like a turkey and avocado sandwich made with beefsteak tomatoes instead of bread. Dinner usually includes a salad paired with some wild-caught sockeye salmon, broccoli, and steamed vegetables. It's no wonder she looks so great. When she does indulge in something sweet, she typically limits herself to just one or two bites. And she's especially careful to keep her alcohol intake to a minimum. She might have a glass of wine when she and her husband go out to dinner, but she never drinks at home. Lucci's secret to vibrant, youthful skin. 
You might be and wondering what I someone in their 70s who's still making headlines in the tabloids thinks no about the inevitability the of growing day, older. Well, she's not exactly really thrilled about it. Myself. She told I'm Harper's Bazaar in 2018 she's kicking and screaming all the way. You know but that hasn't stopped her from being bad. especially it's vigilant about her skincare yeah, regimen. No matter how tired she is, she never goes to bed with her makeup on. She carefully removes it every evening with Neutrogena wipes and then gives her face a refreshing wash with Clay de Peau Boat Cleanser and then uses Skin Medica TNS Essential Serum with growth factors. The last tool in her age-defying arsenal is Botox, but instead of overdoing it and looking frozen and fake, Lucci's dermatologist, Dr. Gendler, takes a more conservative approach, aiming for a natural look. Her wide smile and almost non-existent crow's feet are a testament to his methods. Ultimately, though, Lucci says age is less about a number and more about a state of mind and body. She's learned over the years that if you train hard, you can offset some of the things that might be working against you. Her final piece of wisdom for her fans and admirers is that if you're strong, you're beautiful, no matter what age you are. She's had steady work since All My Children. Lucci played the villainous Erica Kane on ABC's All My Children from 1970 until the soap's cancellation in 2011. Shortly after, she landed a role on Lifetime's Army Wives and then found another opportunity when she scored the role of Genevieve de la Tour on AMC's Devious Maids, working alongside Mark Cherry from 2013 to 2016. It was also during this time Lucci hosted the true crime documentary series Deadly Affairs on the Investigation Discovery Channel. Since then, she's had small but consistent roles. In 2015, she played the role of Danica in David O. Russell's biographical comedy drama film Joy. She followed that up by starring in a 2017 episode of the Hulu-exclusive dark comedy Difficult People. Her last credited role was in 2018's computer-animated comedy Ralph Breaks the Internet. Heart disease almost killed her. In the fall of 2018, Lucci suddenly started experiencing chest pain while she was out shopping. According to an interview, she felt like an elephant was sitting on her chest. The store manager, who happened to also be her friend, recognized what was going on and drove her to the ER. She was rushed to surgery, where doctors discovered she had a 90% blockage in one of her arteries and an 80% blockage in another. Lucci had previously experienced two other bouts with chest pain in the weeks prior, but she ignored them, hoping they would pass. Seeing as she follows a strict Mediterranean diet, isn't overweight, and is by all metrics in great shape, she was shocked to develop heart problems. But fortunately, her surgeons were able to successfully place stents in her arteries and heart, and now her health is better than ever. Lucci stays busy in business and charitable endeavors. After almost dying, Lucci decided to join forces with the American Heart Association to help spread awareness about heart disease. She uses her platform to educate women about the symptoms of heart ailments and encourages them to get screened. She also has a habit of auctioning off her private possessions and donating all the revenue to various charities she believes in. She's especially fond of organizations that help out children and adults suffering from cerebral palsy. Lucci is also a successful businesswoman who's developed her own line of activewear that she sells through QVC and the Home Shopping Network. Her long career as an actress, coupled with her numerous business ventures, have paid off as well. Recent estimates place her net worth somewhere around $80 million. Now we'd like to hear from you. Do you think you'll look as good as Susan Lucci does when you're in your 70s? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.